Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a highlight in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're gonna be creating something like this where we're sort of pinpointing a part of the scene that we want them to see. Great in videos, like for example, compilation videos online of like real world stuff when you're trying to point to where the action of the scene is going to be. So let's get started on this. It is a really easy tutorial. Uh, and effect to pull off. First thing I did was import some footage right here that I got off of Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service for an unlimited amount of stock footage, photos, and templates. Check out the link in the description below. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna pinpoint a car. In this particular situation, I decided that the bus was good to pinpoint. So we're then going to take the video effects, color correction, brightness, and contrast effect right here and drag it onto our footage. We will then go over to our footage and we need to drop the brightness down. Now, this is going to drop the brightness of the whole scene. So we need to create a mask and then invert that mask. So we're going to click the circle to create a circle mask. We're going to invert it to make it. So instead of actually highlighting, what we're doing is we're darkening everything else. If you highlight an area, it's not going to come out looking too good. Like, for example, it just looks... It doesn't look as good as it could. Uh, the inversion is what's really going to pinpoint that location to the, the, the viewer. So once we have this, we can now click on this and let's shrink this down a touch here and just get a smaller circle. We don't need to be highlighting the entire video. Otherwise, we don't really have a point to our highlighting. So we're going to center it on this bus right here. Now we need to animate it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Mask Path. And you can try using the engine here by clicking Play and it'll try tracking. It may lock onto this bus, but it may lock on any of the other cars. Give it a go. If it doesn't work, then we're going to do it manually. I'm holding the Shift key when I move forward. I'm going to move forward about 20 frames at a time. And then I'm just going to have the mask selected. And we're just going to keep moving it back so that it's centered. And it shouldn't take too long when you do it like this. Remember, if you hold that shift key when you go forward, it will go ahead and make this work a little better. Now, if you notice something, here's actually something funny. This circle size is identical the entire time. But due to the way that the truck is growing, it actually appears like the circle is shrinking, which is kind of cool. It's an optical illusion. Um, the circle is exactly the same size, this entire thing, but because the bus is getting larger, it's shrinking. So what we need to do in a situation like this is we also have available to us the mask expansion. So we're going to turn that on and we really just need to do a start and end point here. So maybe something like here. And then if we expand outwards, we can actually make it so it's same sort of area. And now, even though that it's getting larger, it appears like it is staying the exact same size. So just a, a nice little tip here and then make sure uh, that it actually fully disappears whenever that element is gone. But that is the easiest way to create a highlight. You can do this with really anything that you want. You can change the mask up and make it into a different shape if that's what you want. But once you add it, just go ahead and animate it through. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below. If you'd like to learn Premiere Pro through a course, check out the link in the description below. I created a course on Adobe Premiere Pro that goes through and teaches you all of these effects in here in really small, easy to digest ways. So check that out. Uh, hit that subscribe button for more tutorial-based learning. And until next time, guys, see ya.